27th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I hope you got your coffee ready. We're going to start with energy news, that new link I put up this week. I'm just going to blast through the headlines. You can check out these stories for yourself. Even though Fort Calhoun reactor is in shutdown, it requires electricity to avoid melting of core, obviously. New York Magazine, this will sound familiar. Backup generators are working to cool nuclear materials at the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. Federal government is so concerned about Fort Cal Calhoun's situation that the NRC chairman is heading to the plant on Monday. I did a report earlier today. Uh, New York Times on Fort Calhoun, equipment nicked 8 foot high. 2,000 foot long berm causing it to deflate. So that was the major pop of the condom. Somebody hit it with a piece of equipment and popped this great big water bladder. Uh, flood beam collapsed after being punctured by an unidentified piece of machinery. Mm -hmm. Residents urine now radioactive measuring at least 3 millisieverts in all 15 people tested in uh, Fukushima Kyoto Japan. Uh, the OPPD water also leaking around concrete berms surrounding Fort Calhoun nuclear plant's main transformers. Auxiliary building at Fort Calhoun surrounded by water after berm failure. The uh, NRC letter said that if water enters the auxiliary building could have station blacked out with core damage in hours. Fort Calhoun nuclear plant now running on emergency generators as workers try to restore electricity. Power supply cut after water surrounded main electrical transformers. And of course the 2,000 foot beam berm holding back the flood water collapsed at Fort Calhoun. <sighs> City near Fort Calhoun nuclear plant gets 2.5 inches of rain in 6 hours. If you uh, check out the, the radar right now we just have been getting torrential rains uh, all the way up and through Des Moines. I, uh, I did a little time lapse. I don't know how good it is or not. I will probably put it up just for fun. Senators demand congressional investigation into the safety at the U.S. nuke plants. Public concerns heightened after recent news reports. No kidding. Uh, TEPCO is adding boric acid to the number three spent fuel pool to prevent situation which could lead to re-criticality. So uh, they're adding boric acid to uh, make sure we don't have another hydrogen explosion. And EPA radiation monitoring exists so feds can say they have a system not to report the data that would undermine public support for nuclear power, thinks Watchdog. And uh, they are still seeing commercials on TV of how clean and safe nuclear energy is for everybody. What a joke. Nuclear power is criminal. It's criminal. Over to the extinction protocol. Gas emissions increase at the Turabola volcano in Costa Rica. So we have a Costa Rican volcano. <clears throat> well, the volcano has been more active in recent days, spewing outer, speeding out greater emissions of gases with sound that appears similar to a jet engine. The gas column is more abundant and the noise is more noticeable in parts that were not where it is not usual. Um, a volcanologist said. So that is definitely gearing up. Well, they've got a story stressed out on the verge of a major geological event in the Pacific question mark and of course the Japanese plant um, plate that Japan, the main island that Japan sits on is very unstable. And uh, this is just an ongoing uh, story on that. Giant sinkhole swallows section of Inkskip Beach Peninsula in Queensland, Australia. I saw a video on this. It's uh, pretty crazy. I will attach it below. And uh, all you can just see is just the trees falling away and the beach just disappeared, turned into a muddy mess. They've got a picture here. Uh... 6.4 magnitude earthquake strikes north coast of Papa, Indonesia, and that is a very active area, of course. Freak summer hailstorm dismays residents in Scotland's sunniest city. 
Scotland, Scotland's sunniest city exper experienced a freak hailstorm this week after ominous clouds moved over Dundee. Thunder, lightning, heavy rainfall, and hailstorms hit Dundee on Thursday afternoon. The city played host to winter weather in the middle of June, days after summer solstice. Uh, yeah, I reported on this. It's not uncommon for these uh, supercells to throw down hail, and we're having it here too. Flood risks increasing for Americans, but only 7% are prepared for an event. And uh, they're talking about insurance, blah, blah, blah. Who can afford it? And a story on obesity, obesity rates exploding. Global diabetes, diabetes rates double. Uh, no kidding. It's all the GMO and processed crap everybody's sitting down. Get off your computer and go hike a little bit. Uh, the Ukraine is lashed by severe storm crops and roads washed away. Here we go, some more crop damage. Um, Simferpol, storm warning has been announced in uh, Crimea. Rains with hail accompanied by strong gusts of winds have caused damage to many regions of the Ukraine. Uh, and one region alone reports that 600 hect hectares of winter wheat, 600 Hay of sugar beets were destroyed. Oh, it'd have to be hectares of sugar beets were destroyed, and and 11 kilometers of gravel cover on local roads were also washed away. In general, Region Energy Distribution Company teams have worked to restore power in 96 settlements of 11 regions. They're just having a hell of a time in Ukraine, and you remember that's where Chernobyl is. California Omen rumblings from the San Andreas Fault, and of course, it's a very active uh, story, and they've got. Uh, kind of a fear piece. <clears throat> uh, scarlet fever outbreak in Hong Kong, linked to virulent new strain. And over to EarthChangesScott.net. Fear and trembling in Saudi Arabia. Media warn of imminent earthquake volcano, but geologists discount risk correctly or not. Many Saudis worry about it. And uh, Saudi Arabia is Harat. Linear lava field doesn't seem like the kind of place that would generate much concern for anyone. Rocky, where it isn't covered by sand, the area is uh, briefed of vegeta vegetation and human habitation. Summer temperatures can increase 100 degrees Fahrenheit. True, it is uh, pot-marked with cones formed by eruptions, but those were formed quite a long time ago. And ago, this goes to uh, the Saudi Arabia saying, there's uh, nothing to worry about here, move along. And, uh, yeah, I wonder what that's doing to their oil reserves. Six strong quakes strike at Ring of Fire in the past week. Uh, not uncommon. I've been tracking this for quite a while. Flood, blur flood berm collapses at Nebraska Nuclear Power Plant. Now, this is the Fort Calhoun where a, a piece of equipment hit the bladder and popped it. Well, there's smart thinking, huh? And the Costa Rican volcano story, how strong can a hurricane get? Check it out. Category 5 on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale has no upper bound on paper. But in theory, winds from a powerful hurricane could blow the scale out of the water. Scientists say there's no such thing as a Category 6 storms, in part because once winds reach Category 5 status, it doesn't matter what you call it, it's really, really bad. And that's basically saying it's like a, 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 a F1 tornado. The scale starts with Category 1, which, reaches, which ranges from 74 to 95 miles an hour, a Category 5 storm, which has winds of 156 miles an hour or stronger, an expiration of scale suggests that the Category 6 were created, it would be in the range of 176 to 196 mile an hour winds. Oh, that would be like a, a F3 tornado, for Christ's sake. That's just crazy. Super hurricanes. Here we go. Uh, Iran's got a 5.1 earthquake in eastern Iran. And they have a story on the pole shift. It's pretty lengthy. The Australian sinkhole sucks away trees at Inkskip Point in Australia. And again, I will attach the video of that below. 
And uh, firefighters put out three fires in Russia's far east in the past 24 hours. And again, here we go with the big fires in Russia over and over again. Firefighters and rescuers in Russia's far east extinguished its three forest fires over the past 24 hours and continue battling 11 more fires, a spokesman for the regional emergencies ministry said on Sunday. Satellite monitoring and aircraft surveillance has registered a total of 14 forest fires in the last 24 hours. Three of them covering an area of 43 hectares were extinguished, the spokesman said. He said he added the remaining 11 wildfires have spread over the area of 519 hectares. And uh, after their fire season last year, it's uh, pretty crazy indeed. And uh, China magnitude 5.2 earthquake hits. Uh, Yushu, Qinghai province. And uh, da da da, rattle buildings. Storm drenches East China while drought plagues the Northwest. And again, um, that's running into the fire season on the Russian side of things. Over to the RSOE. Of course, flooding in Minot, North Dakota. Uh, Missouri, Nebraska, my state of Iowa, uh, flooding in China, flooding in uh, Blair, Fort Calhoun, um, Nebraska, that's the, the nuclear power plant event, forest fires in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, um, got a hailstorm reports out of Sweden, New Mexico, Big forest fire in the Los Alamos area, um, completely uncontained. Uh, they're evacuating campers and whatnot. Heat wave in France. Um, they're saying that it's getting to a critical level where people have died back in '93. Now you got to remember, France is uh, energy is produced by 70% nuclear energy, and they're in a severe drought, and that is going to cause um, problems as far as they need energy needs. So France is in hot water, that is for sure. Tropical storm, basically we have a typhoon hit South Korea and all the fun things that that entails. Uh, avalanche in France, uh, one of the mountains of France, um, like four hikers were killed, they were all tied together, snow and, snow and rock slide. Um, that is about it new I have for today. Of course, if I missed anything, please attach your comments or, or videos below, of course. Enjoy what you can, and uh, you can hear the thunder. We're still under the gun here in Des Moines. See you next time.